four and a half years, the oak tree in downtown North Platte has been a popular place for people to buy home decor. Recently, the store announced it's closing its doors. Jacqueline Olson spoke with the owner and found out the reason behind the decision. I spoke with the owner of the oak tree, Jody Fiskus, who says she has to close her doors for a number of reasons, but Hobby Lobby is not one of them. Fiskus says as an independent store owner, she has versatility in what she buys compared to the big box stores. Her reason for closing shop is the decrease of sales. At this point, we are not losing, but over the last two years, our sales have dropped probably uh, 20, 22, 20 to 25 percent. Biscus compares her sales to the first full year the store opened. In 2012, they were making an average of $21,000 a month. In the past year, that has dropped to $17,000. It truly comes down to the economy. I mean, everything was going higher and higher. Um, the Obamacare was coming in. There was just lots of things that were happening with government that kept taking your money, and you had to, and you, and it was more necessities. Food kept getting higher. You know, everything was getting higher, and people's money just didn't go as far. Last summer was the realization she might need to close her doors. When the lease was up, she negotiated a nine-month lease to test out the waters and see if the economy would bounce back. And I knew that in, in, those, in those months versus committing to a two- or three-year lease, um, I thought I knew, I, I knew that I would know what to do if, if it didn't come back. Biscus says downtown is great, but not for retail. I, I do think that the downtown is not the best of places. I think that it has, I think if somebody would dedicate um, time and effort to, to, to building that downtown, but it will take an individual to do that. Biscus says in the end it came down to the customer and what she wasn't doing. In business, I've always said if you don't survive, it's because you didn't do what your customer really needed. And it, it truly comes down to I just didn't do I didn't do enough of what my customer really needed uh, to keep us surviving. I think that's it comes down to that in the end. Biscuit says she plans to have the store cleared by the end of April and out completely by the end of May. Reporting in North Platte, Jacqueline Olson, News Two. Okay, thank you, Jacqueline. Everything in the store must be gone. Biscuit says what doesn't get sold will be given to charity in North Platte.